Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Vacation Station TV, your virtual getaway. And just found a new place just going up called Hibernation Station, located in the Pigeon Forge area. And this is a very new community. Don't know anything about it. I mean, it is brand new, brand new. And I already like the first cabin that I am looking at. Look at that. That's a pretty cabin. Love the stonework. Very nice. Very, very nice. Don't know how many acres this is. Hibernation Station. Cute little building, whatever it is. Don't know. Oh my, look at the size of that cabin. Well, I gotta get some high octane gas in this car. <laughs> this thing definitely. Break it does not like regular. Cabin right up here. Lazy River Lodge. These are all rentals. Very nice. Some pretty little rentals. Nice views. Really nice views up here. You want to mark this on your list of cabin rental areas? Hibernation Station. Nicely paved roads. A pretty good sized community. A lot more cabins coming up over here. Nicely designed cabins. I'll try to get as many as I can. Paradise Mountain Retreat. You. I don't know if you can see that or not. Look at that. You see those views? They're pretty high here. Love the door. Look at the doors to that place. Solid wood, they look a lot like castle doors. Nice stonework on the front of this building. This is a um, a rental area in progress. These are big rentals. Amazing view cabin rentals. So all, all of these are rentals. 
the beautiful stonework on the front of that building. Here's one, uh, looks like they're, here's one being built right now. Right there. Now you can see, it's not really a cabin. It's a conventional style home, the way it's built, stick, brick and mortar. And then they put the outside on to make it look like a cabin. Here's another view of a, this is a new one that's not even open yet. They're still working on it. It has, uh, interesting, I'll try to get a better view for you. The poles that are on the front of the building are actually logs, log logs. See that? It's holding up the, uh, the front awning. Those are real logs as realistic as you can get I mean you got to remember we're in the 21st century people aren't making log cabins anymore like they did you know back in the uh, 17 and 1800s I mean sure you can if that's what you want to do but that's there's no reason to do that anymore door again here look at that I, I know miss Marie would love that that's a beautiful door solid you know it's wood it looks like a castle door very nice I gotta remember that put that in our cabin that's very pretty 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 it's a foundation for another one that is going up it's hibernation station just getting basically the uh, frame up for the uh, foundation and the wall. There's another cabin. It, it's interesting the color style, color scheme. Uh, these are a dark, like walnut brown. Um, I would have gone a different way, but this is, you know, it looks okay on this building because you have the dark basic building and then the light trim on the railing and the posts, which uh, it's a nice contrast. It's nice. Walkway, it's handicap accessible. There's another one they're building right now. Building cabins everywhere. I can't turn down a street without seeing a cabin being are soon to. There's some more cabins right there. These are rentals already rented. There are people in them. Nice views though, all the way around. on it's a little warm up here it's 73 but it's warm they got the little covered uh, barbecue areas notice that right there on your left covered barbecue so I guess you don't get wet even if it's raining it's a good idea I like that down here uh, materials for another cabin uh, here's, there's another one right there that's a rental and it looks rented already cute cabin it's tri level now I'm not sure if that's it says number 10 I don't see number nine so that's that's a single rental I'm assuming They're clearing all this stuff out. There's going to be cabins here, both sides. 
Hope you enjoy these little trips that we take you on because I know a lot of you are interested in cabins and maybe even cabin life and uh, I try to bring it to you because we are interested in it. We live the cabin life, living the cabin life. And we want you to, we, we want you to do the same thing. There's a site that's being readied right there and I even see the machinery. right there they got the part of the driveway put in he's moving the dirt around and digging out the foundation because most of these have cellars and most of the rentals they make the cellars the game rooms this cabin there rental and prepping up the soil they get logs I guess they use them for building got all this wood around you you might as well use it right I don't know if they have any of these things for sale. Um, this looks like a rental area to me. I'm surprised they're burning though, because the fire uh, warning is at high, and that usually means no burning allowed. So I, I don't know. I, I don't approve of that. Go back up this hill here. Hibernation Station. Very similar the cabins. The, uh, I've only seen two models that um, are very different. For the most part, they're the same. See, there's straight ahead. There's a style model and to the left, and those seem to be the two models. They're, they're pretty. I'm not, not making any complaints. And that one straight ahead looks fully rented. So there's what three, six, eight car, nine cars in one building. So I'm assuming they've. Uh, They've rented the whole building. Maybe family get together. That's really big. And you all get, I guess, your own room. Very nice. It is a very, very brand new community still in the embryonic stages of its life so I'm sure it's going to take hold shortly you know you, they've got the buildings going they're building them and they are renting them and that's interesting you know because it, when you have rentals that's what you want you want them rented how much they cost I don't know I'll try to get that information put it on the video for you I gotta get some high test in this thing. There's some more. Nice wide stairway. And bump into each other.
Look at the stone work on this cabin. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? The doors, I love the doors. Lots of room, uh, that's what I do like, is that they're not on top of each other. There are a couple of places um, in the area that the rentals are on top of each other. There's, there's no privacy, it doesn't, to me it wouldn't feel like I'm out in a cabin. I feel like I'm in, a, in a, an urban area, you know, just with wood on it. And she's pretty high up. background there see this cabin's there very hilly very twisty turny very pleasant I mean now's the time to be thinking about what are you gonna do what are you gonna do with your life you're gonna wait till you're 80 years old and then go maybe maybe we'll go get a cabin somewhere by that time you won't be able to afford these places take the plunge do it now you'll be grateful later Listen to me today, hear me tomorrow. Because it would be really an investment for you. If you bought one and you rented it out while you weren't there, there's another one that uses logs right there. Look at that. Those posts are logs. Isn't that cool? Great idea. I would stain them, personally. I'd make them dark and it would preserve them a little bit better. That's what I would do. There's quite a few rentals right here. And they're not on top of each other. These are a little closer than the other ones that I just showed you. The other ones are a little further apart and uh, they give you a little bit more breathing room and I think that's what you want is breathing room. Every one of them has a barbecue area. Every single one of them. on the top with the two rocking chairs and that cute you and mama sitting on the second level really close to Pigeon Forge. Um, I'm still really close to Parkway from here. You'd never know it. Never know it. Still don't know what that cute little house is. It's adorable little thing. Maybe it's a pump house or something, maybe. It's cute as a button. Powerhouse. This will all be cabins, you can rest assured that. I didn't see uh, any amenities, but that doesn't mean there won't be here. I just didn't see any yet. I didn't see community pool or a, a clubhouse of any type. Looks like that would be where a pool is. It looks like they might be getting ready to put a pool there. There's 
Bluff Mountain Road, and we just passed that. This is, if I'm not mistaken, Goose Gap Road. <laughs> I forget sometimes to tell you that. Goose Gap. It's a very popular road up in this area of Walden Creek. So we're in Pigeon Forge. The sign will be coming up just up the street a ways. I've been working this area for a while because I like this area a lot. Um, and at the moment, it's more affordable than going further into Wares Valley. See Pigeon Forge City Limits in a minute now. And where we just were, that's county. So once again, you wouldn't be paying city taxes. Once you enter the city limits, you're going to be obligated for city and county taxes. So you probably want to stay out of any city limits and all the restrictions that they uh, they offer you. That added bonus of having the city taxes and their craziness as well as the county. Stay out in the county, you'll do a lot better. I promise. They finally had to put a arrow there because the, when the light was green, nobody ever let you go. And the tourists never let you go. The, the local people always let you go. Tourists never give you a break. So there you go. You got to see another cabin community. But lots of people say, hey, show some more of those cabin communities. You, you're starting to make us think. I hope we're making you think. Because if you're not happy where you're living, change where you are. Change your thoughts, change your life. If you're depressed where you are. If you don't feel like you're getting ahead, you're falling behind, make a change. Because if you're not moving forward, you're definitely either standing still or moving backwards. And this, of course, is 321. The main road. I'm heading back to the cabin. I'm on 321 South. Miss Marie and I will keep bringing you these little cabin communities, uh, small, medium, and large, kind of give you an idea what's out here. Look, no one else is doing it, and this is what we do, you know? We promise to bring you a lot of everything, not just one thing. And you know Jeff, it's bored too easy. If I get really too bored, I don't do anything. Find another hobby. So thank you for joining us on Vacation Station TV, your virtual getaway. If you like this video, give it a big old slap like. Smack the button. And uh, we would appreciate that. That helps the channel out a lot. If you haven't subscribed, I don't know why not. What would hold anybody back from subscribing right now? It's free. It doesn't cost a thing to subscribe to the channel. Not a dime. We don't ask you for anything. We don't have Patreon. We don't do any of that stuff. Just ask you to watch. Watch, like, and comment. That's it. That's all we ask. Not a lot. Didn't cost you a dime to do any of those three things. Like, comment, subscribe. And of course... We will see you very, very soon. Have a great day, folks.